Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sol Journalist Man and welcome to Ape News. Chinese organized show match Xiao Mao 5 uh, continues. Yesterday we saw lower bracket quarterfinals. In the first series, Sok was victorious 3 1 versus Kao. But Kao had a don't bring the demon hunter into your best of five day. And basically, as we can see, he won only first series where he went panda first. And later in every single game, there was no demon hunter, which is very extraordinary. Let's hear how Mr. Remo was excited about the panda. Whoa, Kao, what is this? Kaho playing a neutral hero opening. Hold on. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Kaho do this. He's always played demon and keeper. Kaho's normally always been following the meta, relying on his incredible execution. He was known to be a micro night elf, not a strategy night elf. Maybe it's the Loliath influence and as we know he won the first game and let's look how beautifully Panda Breath of Fire fits into harassing the human expo and that Panda can be very dangerous versus heroes. Also check out there is no Drunken Haze, the ability that Panda usually go for the late game, it's the passive, the Panda crit level 2. Probably if you play one base um, without expansion, you can't afford that many mana potions, so that's why Mr. Cow decided to skip the Drunken Haze. Check the clip. Peasants reacting quickly, trying to with the repair, but it's, it's too much. That tower will surely go down. And here is the Alchemist. That is no surprise to see him join here. Chemical Rage! Archmage! Ooh, Breath of Fire! It's ready! Is he gonna TP in time? Oh, loses the AM! Big mistake by Sock! Big mistake! I think Mr. Sock was just surprised by the strength of Solo Panda and he even picked the wrong skill on the Alchemist. He definitely wanted this uh, healing spray ability. Uh, but later he played well and even though uh, Mr. Cow was still experimenting with some other strategies, he advanced by winning 3-1. In another lower bracket quarter final, Colorful went to full distance in this best of 5 versus Low Lion. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, the games were full of demon hunters and after very, very, very close series, Mr. Oliath was victorious. And to finish Xiao Mao 5 uh, recap, the lower bracket semi-final was played in between Sok and Loliath, and it was Human versus Nidalf. Concealed Hill is a very special map in this matchup because of a possibility of going MGs, Mountain Giants, because you can heal them very efficiently at the uh, Fountain of Health. Let's check the clip from Game 1. Always a bit hurt here as well. This bull. Frag shards now ready. Sock has to micro so many things at the same time. Good micro also on the Dryads. Oh, mana potion. Next breath of fire. Oh, that could be four kills right away. And another rifle. Left behind. Sock dropping to 59 supply. Panda level 6. Baby. Keeper close to 6 as well. And I think most importantly, Lolite still has access to the fountain. That's some, some pretty healing value. And the, the, the series was finished by Warden play. And again, ladies and gentlemen, Cow versus Sock, no Demon Hunter. Lolite versus Sock, no Demon Hunter. Maybe they have a challenge or something to win versus humans without the powerful Demon Hunter hero. Let's check how the game ended with Warden action. Blink fan, and that's level 6. Summoning the ult right away. No hesitation. There's a couple of corpses here already. AM, wait, AM's hurt. What are you doing? What are you doing, step AM? Oh, oh, and he goes down. Pally asleep on the job. Professional Warcraft 3 action uh, did not stop at Xiao Mao 5 Cup. Yesterday we have seen three show matches. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Three Chinese organized show matches as well. And um, 
Two of them were called Do Delphin Cup, which is uh, funny enough, but the highlight was of course Happy vs. Infi series. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Happy is continuing his strong performance versus Human. After Infi comeback for Star Wars, he was doing quite nicely, but I think Mr. Happy kinda used to his style and in this series there was no mercy for Mr. Infi. Mr. Infi was trying different style, he was playing Mass Gryphons, as we can see in this clip, enjoy this 80 plus supply fight. How do you try to get the best position here? Infi has to go in now, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Doesn't have clap here to help against the ground. How much damage can the gyros do? Gyros against the gargs, gargs against the griffins, fiends flying in, I mean, webbing. The flying targets, rather. And the gargoyles seem to be disappearing, perhaps. But the fiends are still left. Banshees are still there. AMS is still involved. Crypto gets level 6. Could use the mana potion here to pop the ultimate. Using the impale as well. Again, stunning the heroes. Griffin numbers are dwindling. Supply is leading happy. And when Mass Gryphon did not work, uh, Mr. Infi tried a little bit more old school strategy with uh, like Grand Army, Knights, Priest, but versus Impey level 3, so Cripplord level 5, Mass Ground is easy to counter. And this clip shows its best. Best. Check out that Cripplord has Impey level 3 and double mana potion. This Cripplord is ready to. Put the ground army into the air. Cyclone on the pally. Panda in trouble. He's staffed out. And with that, he is benched for a long time. Oh, sick and pale as well. Cripplord is now level 6. Is he going to pop the ult? Yes, he is. And with that, I think it might be enough. Knights here taking lots of damage. Upgrade-wise, they don't seem to be where they need to be. And now they're just dying one by one. One by one, the knights go down. Infi again getting close. Also in yesterday, big news, Mr. Grabby has spent his entire Warcraft 3 related stream in Dire Strike. He played for hours. He enjoys this custom um, game, basically. He played for many hours. And what is worth highlighting, ladies and gentlemen, one of clips that were have been made yesterday on his channel got 26.5 thousand views and you may say soul grabby stream is big no of course the stream is big but his clips are not getting that popular look the second clip in uh, the um, in this hierarchy of uh, of views, we got only five views, and for grabby clips to get like 100 views, it's a lot. And you know why it's big? I think it's because like the title grabby figures out why Soda Poppin is playing custom games. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know Soda Poppin, he's a big streamer. He's a huge streamer, nine million always or almost followers on Twitch. And ladies and gentlemen, what is characteristic about him and Warcraft related? is that he plays custom games, but not like those competitive custom games on Warcraft 3 Champions, like Dire Strike, no. He plays custom games on Warcraft, on, on Battle.net, and it's like some, you know, <laughs> like hide your peon somewhere to, to evolve it, like Darwin Island, like some old school custom games. And of course, Mr. Grabby was like coaching him a little bit of Warcraft, but Mr. Soda Poppin gave up. And ladies and gentlemen, maybe uh, the, the, the clip title and what Mr. Grabby had to say about custom games will bring Soda back to challenge Grabby. Let's listen to the clip because it's about the clip. So, custom games is for disabled people. That's great. Who you want me to kill? And now I'm doing it willingly. That's equality. <laughs> I'm disabled, can confirm. Yeah, there we go. And for some people, it's just intellectually satisfying, not intellectually disabled. That explained why Soda lost. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said that. So now we need to wait for Mr. Soda Poppin to respond. 
maybe he will go back to Warcraft 3 with the time will tell. When we are covering controversial topics like that in Ape News, let's go even deeper, let's go, let's talk money in Warcraft 3. In Liquipedia, we can uh, go to year, the current year, 2024, and we can check the money distribution that has been like aired in Warcraft 3 between races. And you know, it can be treated as an indicator of balance. For example, Undead is leading, and yes, because of Happy, Human Undead second spot, uh, Orc third in Nidal fourth. And when we go to the players, as we can see, Happy and Fortitude, they are bringing very nice, very nice amount of money to the table. And of course, Mr. Fortitude with like winning Bad Boom Classic in Dubai and with winning uh, Raraland number three, so being eSport World Series. And ladies and gentlemen, if you remember the, <laughs> the money won by Graf was discussed a lot by Mr. Todd. And yesterday, while he was watching Infi uh, versus Happy uh, Series, on Back to Warcraft, he went to the Twitch chat and he said that he, because the series was very one-sided, Happy was dominating uh, Infi. Todd in the chat saying, human still complete dog shit, I see. Todd, with all respect, shut the hell up. Human has been doing really well. Look at 40, look at Sock. Infi is just not on the right level. To use this as an excuse to whine again is a joke. It's a joke. Get out of here. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, there is a friendly banter be between them. As you can see in this picture that has been taken one year ago, they are good friends. And Mr. Todd responded with like, a <laughs> not even a hello, nothing, that's quite rude. And Mr. Rim, of course, the sweetheart on Back to Warcraft uh, said this. Not even a hello, nothing. Dude, you started with a balance wine. That's what you get. Hello, though. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Speaking about Back to Warcraft casters, when we go to official w uh, website backtowarcraft.com, we can see all of them. So, Mr. Yes, uh, Neo, Mr. Remo Dimo, and Mr. Carson. First of all, a little bit of a feedback. What is missing here is a link to Warcraft 3 Champions uh, well, uh, profiles of, of the casters, but Sol, uh, research and men have found them. So, as we can see, Mr. Neo is currently uh, 1325 MMR uh, with his main race Undead. Uh, Mr. Remo Dimo is like quite inactive on this account. Sadly, so researcher man doesn't know if he's playing on another one. Probably not on Warcraft 3 Champions because we would know. But his MMR now is not too shabby, 1833. And ladies and gentlemen, why I'm covering this? Because yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Carson, for the first time in his history, he broke 2000 MMR with his main race with Orc. Congratulations, Mr. Carson. As we can see, uh, his MMR is like maximum MMR this season, 2005, and his average MMR, 1925. So he's definitely improving, and I hope that Mr. Carson will improve even more. And I have found a clip of him playing from like one year ago, and let's see how much he improved, because in this clip, he's definitely not 2000 MMR yet. Ah! <laughs> dude, I can't believe I fucking lost that, dude. Oh well. Actually, free win. Uh, speaking about Mr. Carson, today Back to Warcraft Weekly 130 is uh, starting, and today is the start of the. Um, it's the first uh, cup in this month in October 2024. So if you want to like start fresh and watch like the best players uh, competing for like this monthly spot, uh, of course make sure to uh, sign up or watch the cup. Uh, the link is in description. For now, already we can see that Starbuck, Hulk, and uh, Sonic are participating, and more players will sign up. That's for sure.
Also today the Xiaomao Cup 5 <laughs> will continue and maybe we are close to uh, finishing it and it's going to be a series between Labyrinth and Low Lyet. And what is also cool, uh, there will be a small event in the Polish community Glare vs. Lajuk, so like two high MMR Polish players uh, decided to just organize a show match between them and I'm going to cover it on Soul Apeman Twitch channel at uh, 7 p.m. European time. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow in the next episode of Ape News.